I know you. I know you from somewhere. Where do I know you from? What? Of course, my dream. You were in a boat made of bone, and I put a crown of thorns on your head. All right. Tell me about this dream of yours. That dream? Yes, that dream has come true. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice. My own pupil in the trade of miracles. Then I'm in luck. On the contrary, I, the lucky one. What's your name, young man? Oh. Henry. Henry. Hmm. A powerful name. So, Henry, are you ready to become my apprentice? First, tell me, who are you and what do you do? Me? I am an unworthy, low, and miserable servant of Providence. Scholar or merchant, believer or heathen, I wander the world without home or family, with only my wagon offering miracles to those that need them. That's who I am. Without home or kin, I wander this world with my wagon, providing the miracles that people need. Ointments, relics, aromatic herbs, rare spices, talismans and amulets for luck. All these things I have. What exactly does it entail, becoming your apprentice? A lot of work and strenuous labor. Knowledge of medicine, theology, and white magic. You have to study the great works of the ancients and devote your time to understanding your fellow men, listening to them, and learn to read their souls. Nothing to it. That's why God has sent you. So what is it? <laughs> All right, I'll be your apprentice. Wonderful. Oh, glorious day. I have a successor in my work. So, how do you plan to start training me? With a test of your practical skills. Oh. I have my eye on three rare objects of great value. But sadly, they're a little difficult to obtain. Go on. First, I need a tooth of Saint Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. And finally, a talisman for luck from a passionate player. Bloody hell, that's a lot. All right, one thing at a time. About that tooth, it's going to be slightly more complicated, isn't it? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic, of course. That's why I have an alternative solution. I'm listening. A layman named Procopius lives by the monastery, and it just so happens, thanks to my intricate medical knowledge, that I've found out he has a sick tooth. How did he find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as it happens, totally at the tavern. But that's not important. And how am I supposed to get the tooth? I haven't the faintest idea. You'll have to think of something. But maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull it. Fine. I'll get it from him. Wonderful. This topping out, what's that? <laughs> You're not a carpenter, it seems. No, I'm a blacksmith. Our Lord's taste I see. Good on well, a topping out Come of a decorated spruce or a conifer tree hung a on top to of the roof of a new house to bring good fortune and God's blessing. Very well, I'll get it. This player's talisman, where am I supposed to find it? I actually have a specific one in mind. Here at the inn, there's a dice player who always has a cat's paw with him. 
Come That's supposed to bring him luck. A cat's paw? I thought players bring along a rabbit's paw for luck. Uh, I thought so too. But this man is winning one game after another, so... Cats are clearly even more powerful than rabbits. Oh. Lean, fatty, marbles, meats of all kinds. How am I supposed to get the talisman from him? I haven't a clue. It won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll find a way. <laughs> we'll see. Very well. I'll get you the poor. Meat, cured and fresh. From the woods. I'll get looking for the those bed. things then. It all tastes Excellent. Delicious. You do that, my journeyman. Good luck. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. You must be that lucky fellow everyone's talking about. Lady Luck has been good to me lately, true enough. But that can change quicker than you know. People say that you get help from a lucky charm. Is that not allowed? No, it is. It just interests me, that's all. Why? I'll buy it from you. You want to buy my cat paw? You're joking. No, I'm not. I'll buy it. How much do you want for it? See? In the end, it brought me more luck than I thought. <laughs> Thanks. See you later. God save you. What can I do for you? It doesn't look good. What? What are you talking about? Your tooth. But it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? As a practitioner of the healing arts, I recognize the signs of a sick tooth. You have a bloated face, you're sweating, and the way you breathe is absolutely typical of the condition. You're a physician? Isn't that what I said? And if I can give you some advice, you should have it removed. There's a blacksmith down in the town. No, no, no. There's no way I'm putting myself in the hands of that butcher. I understand. But look here. I know about healing. I can go along with you and make sure everything goes as it should. You do that? Of course. Jesus Christ. I'm a grown man and I need an escort. You don't have to be embarrassed. Every man in the world's afraid of having his teeth pulled. I know, but even so... Let's go then, and get this over with. Jesus, it's gonna be really painful, isn't it? Don't worry. It will hurt a little, but then you'll feel relieved. You'll see. If you say so. I don't know. Isn't that a waste of time? Maybe it'll go away on its own. Are you mad? It won't go away, it'll just get worse. The sooner we get it out, the better. Yes, yes, you're right. Look, I, I can't. It's embarrassing. I I'm a coward and I won't be able to handle it. We're almost there. Just be a man about it. You're right. Let's go. All right. Let's do it. Hold him tight. Let's do it. 
Ah, look, Jesus it's Christ, out. The agony. They want to keep it as what a memento. I, I love it. This? Oh, all right. God save you. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid, splendid. So show me what you've got there. The tooth of Layman Procopius, which definitely isn't holy. It isn't. But then again, one day, it could be. You never know what course a man's life might take. Hmm. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get. So if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. Calm now. Don't exaggerate. One cat paw for luck? Marvellous. Let's just hope it brings us luck as well. A branch from a blessed topping out. Excellent. And how did you get it down? I had to shoot it down. Watch out for this man. He's a regular William Tell. <laughs> well, there wasn't any other way. So, we've got all that sorted out. And now, to the next man. Go on. I'm shaking with anticipation. There's one more thing. It's rather... Complicated and um, delicate. What thing? A shroud. A shroud? Yes. A burial shroud of someone who passed away not too long ago. I'm just supposed to take a dead person's clothes? Christ, no. I need a burial shroud. The precious enveloping garment in which the deceased is buried. And does it matter who I take it from? It needs to be someone who lived an honest life. And I have just the fellow, a good man by the name of Lokota, who recently passed on. Right. So where can I find him? His family is waiting right for up. the funeral. It's a feast for your for now, he's your lying in the small church in Sasa. You'll not find better meat anywhere. And who was this Lokata? I know only a little, but according to the locals, he was an honourable man. You should certainly try to ask around. Take care. Me! Good health to you. Who's the man who died? The one who's lying in the church? Oh, that was old Lokota. He was a respectable fellow. And how did he make a living? He was a butcher of some renown in the region. Is he a local? Oh, no. He came here from Vlashi because of an argument with his brother. We weren't too keen on him at first. His trade took customers away from our old butcher, you see. But we soon realised he was a decent man, and we all grew to love him. It's a sad loss. What about his family? His wife, Lucy, passed away a long time ago, poor soul. He was never the same since then. He never laughed from the heart anymore. But he's left two sons behind, Peter and Mark. What are his sons like? Oh, they're sturdy men. Sturdy and straightforward. Mind you, Peter doesn't have any sense of humour that you'll notice. He takes everything as seriously as a sermon. Marks them all open sort and a little superstitious. But don't make fun of him. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. God be with you. God's blessings, but what can I do for you? My condolences. Thank you. The Lord be with you. See you later.
good health to you. I have the shroud for you. Have you now? Good work. Yes, well, it wasn't easy. I'm sure. That's also why... Good luck, then. That's where he lives. Let's teach him a lesson. He did oh, die. Fuck. I saw him go fuck. in. Fuck. Henry, delay them. What? How? There's a reward for you in the trunk. I'll see you in the edge go. What are you doing here? He swindled me, too. I came here to throw his potions in his face, but it looks like he hasn't been home for a while. He probably ran away before his trickery could catch up with him. Bastard. Either way, he'd better not show his face in this town again. Let's go. Hmm. God save you. Will you teach me how to pickpocket better? Certainly. I want to achieve mastery. You can't become a master overnight. You have to know almost everything before trying to achieve mastery. Well, I'll think it over. Good luck then.